latest on Cyclone Idai, which is stalling off the western coast of Madagascar, but is explosively intensifying at this time, with winds of 110 miles per hour and a pressure of 953 millibars, almost double what it was at our last update 12 hours ago. The CDPS scale has the storm even higher than it was earlier. This is assuming a landfall in Mozambique if it was to do so at its forecast intensity at Category 4 status, which is on the forecast at the minute. It would be a Stage 7 catastrophic if it was to make landfall at its expected intensity. At the minute, Category 2 on the Saffir Simpson scale as of 6am Eastern African time, March 11th. Uh, 17.3 south, 43.2 east. It's 34 miles from Huandinova. Uh, that is only about three or four miles movement since the uh, last update 12 hours ago. 74 miles from Mainterano in Madagascar, 217 from Moandava, and 415 from Kelimane on the eastern coast of uh, Mozambique. Tropical storm conditions are possible in those yellow areas in the next 48 hours, still focusing exclusively on the western coast of Madagascar, but the storm is slowly starting to show signs of its westward motion, which we are expecting to occur in earnest in the next 24 hours. Here's the GFS model run, showing the storm curving towards the southwest initially, and then on a more westward heading, and eventually curving all the way around towards the northwest into the coast of Mozambique, which it will make landfall. Now by the looks of things, it will be on Friday, possibly even into Saturday. And then the uh, models are really trending towards more stalling in land and then moving back out over the Mozambique Channel next week. Bearing in mind that this storm has already killed, the precursor has killed 28 in Malawi already and numbers aren't fully uh, known just yet. Sea surface temperatures are around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius at least and that is certainly warm enough for more sustained development as long as it doesn't keep on stalling. Here is another look at that model run, a bit of a deviation towards the south initially according to, G G uh, according to the GFS model, then towards the west, uh, still affecting some of those islands further south as well, uninhabited as far as I'm aware, and then off towards the northwest. Landfall in Mozambique, significant intensity when it does so, moving inland and really the ingredients for another uh, very bad hit there for that region that is uh, already hit by flooding. Chances of tropical storm force winds now as follows, 95% at Wandinova, 90% at Mainterano, 50% at Kelimani, 25 in Beira and 20% in Kimoyo, further inland in Mozambique. So these are what the models are saying right now, there's a few on display at this juncture. The HWRF and the CTCX appear to be on the right track at the minute, uh, at least the HWRF uh, initially the CTCX uh, obviously always going overboard but you never know it might happen maybe getting towards category 5 intensity um, curious to note the deviations in the track forecast there as well HWRF having it much further south before the curve towards the north the CTCX keeping it well away from Mozambique um, and not striking uh, the country at all and staying in the Mozambique channel that could also happen this is how the storm has been looking in the last 12 hours. So since our last update, the storm has moved very little at all. Look at that. It's deviated a bit towards the east, then it's moved back west a little bit, and it's pretty much in exactly the same place as it was on our last update, only a lot stronger. Category 2 intensity, satellite imagery is looking very good, especially with that deep eye developing, and it could be very much stronger by later on today. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo a Cyclo Maurice on Facebook.